late June and what may turn out to be one of the worst fire seasons on record. Yet most of the discussion about climate change has focused on average condi conditions. But the nation is far more vulnerable to extreme events like those we are experiencing throughout the country. Yes, sir. ...appeared to be most at risk. In particular, research now shows that warmer, tens warmer temperatures will intensify the hydrologic cycle, leading to greater climate variability and, unfortunately, an increase in the risk of both floods and droughts. It sounds like bull to me, sir. The research indicates that warmer temperatures will raise the snow line in mountainous regions, causing more precipitation to fall this rain rather than snow, and thereby increasing the likelihood of winter floods. Yes, sir. But what can we do about these growing risks? Impacts associated with climate change are now unavoidable. Do you know what it means to be lost? Really lost? I'm lost, if that means I know I'll never go back to live on Luna, but I know that Earth is still there to go back to risks of the floodplain, minimizing the impact of these risks when they cannot be avoided, mitigating the impacts of damages when they occur, and accomplishing the above in a manner that concurrently protects and enhances the natural environment. Yes, sir. Finally, water conservation and efficiency offers enormous potential for reducing water potential water pressures on water supply and must be central to any effort to adapt to climate change. Yes, sir.